Why are they so different? That sucks. Gross. If you served that to me and told me that was an abortion, I'd believe it. A list of ingredients with zero quantities and no recipe. Cooking without instructions. What a dumb idea. Hi, I'm Lewis Spears. Welcome back to Cooking Without Instructions. We've got a great episode planned for you today and a horrible episode for whoever has to eat this shit. Uh, today, a lot of people have been suggesting that I cook beef wellington. Uh, which from the pictures, because I'm not allowed to look at the recipe, looks like beef wrapped in like pastry and shit. So I was thinking, yeah, we'll do beef wellington, but then I was like, mm, but if I fuck up cooking, my taste tester is gonna die because undercooked beef can kill you, I'm pretty sure. So I've changed it a little bit to salmon wellington, which someone else suggested, because I'm pretty sure salmon, you can actually not cook it and it, and it is, Fine. Although I've just thought about sa sa salmon salmonella. Do you get salmonella from salmon? I mean, it's S A L M O N Ella. Sal Either way, we're not risking my life, so let's do it. Salmon Wellington. So first ingredient on the list: butter. I'm a little bit lost as to what the fuck I'm gonna use the butter for. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break out the salmon. I'm gonna try and make two beef wellingtons and they're gonna be slightly different because I didn't know what type of salmon goes in a salmon wellington. I've got some like salmon chunks for one and then I've got some salmon slices for the other. That's salmon slices. I really don't know if you're supposed to cook salmon or not. I mean, it tastes like salmon. Oh, this is smoked salmon. This is already cooked, guys. <laughs> this is pre-cooked. All right, cool. So, I'm not gonna die then. You know what's, what's ruined cooking terms? Porn. I saw wood roasted and I immediately thought spit roasted. And I didn't think that the cooking version of spit roasting. I meant the kind where you high five your mate and do the Eiffel Tower. While some girl who's made incredibly poor life choices is in the middle. We haven't even started cooking, we're already talking about DPs. Alright, let's do it. This one's getting demonetized for sure. I'm just stalling because I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do with this. Oh, this salmon looks like it shit itself. Or if that's just what salmon looks like. Eh, well, I guess we're leaving that on there because it doesn't taste like anything. I was just discriminating against it because it's brown. Sorry. Force of habit. I'm trying to wear a new apron every episode. Why does it have fucking armholes? It looks like a cape, man. I'm going to wear it like a cape. Fuck yeah. So, seasoning. How do you season shit? So we get an onion. First thing I'm gonna do with the onion is chop it this way and then peel it, right? That's what you do with an onion. See, onions, they're a lot like ogres. Mm, I can't think of a good fucking Shrek joke. <laughs> I think I just can't make a fucking Shrek joke, guy. I'm really sorry about that. There's gonna be no Shrek jokes in this episode. Because I don't know what to do with the onion, it's either a chopping scenario or a grating scenario. This is why we have two different salmon. So this is the first chopping segment in Cooking Without Instructions. Have you ever seen like a guy with cerebral palsy try and do the button, buttons up on his shirt? This is a very similar, if not worse, situation happening. All right, I feel like that's enough for the chopped version. Where's the great version? Great, all right, I implied that it was gonna be great. This is not gonna be great, it's gonna suck. Oh, this one has scales on it. I don't know what to do with that. Oh, that was easy. You just take them off. You know, I, I always wondered if scales on a fish are kind of like the outside of a kiwi fruit. Because everyone's like, oh, you can't eat the skin of a kiwi fruit because it's really hairy. And I wonder if the same is true for, for fish scales. It's definitely not a kiwi fruit scenario. That sucks. Gross. I feel like I could have fucking Googled that instead of just putting it in my mouth. Although I bet that's what every chick says after their first blowjob. Seasoning my salmon. You know, doing this, I've, I've just realized that I don't think I've ever, in my 24 years on this planet, ever seen anyone grate an onion. And I'm gonna assume that there's a really good reason for that. You know, I don't know why people complain about onion and making them cry. Like, I've never really cried when I've grated an onion. Although I did cry at the end of Click, Adam Sandler's movie. So I think my crying reasons are just way fucking off. Next on the ingredients is garlic. I have some garlic here. I don't know how much I'm supposed to use. I know that this is a tool for garlic. I do know that. Oh, do you have to peel? Oh, peeling's a waste of time. That's just the outer shell of the garlic. So, guys, peeling is a waste of time. There's many forms of spinach. I got leaves, so I had the original spinach in its, in its classic form, but I don't think, I mean, you're not gonna do that, are you? Crush spinach for here, and then chop spinach for this one. Chopping spinach, I've just realized that does fucking nothing. 
you might as well just put the full leaf in. What else can you do with spinach? I've been issued a challenge. <laughs> All right, grated spinach. I'm gonna grate my fucking fingers, man. It's a leaf. I can't grate a leaf. A little bit of grated spinach. Ow, okay. I told you you can't grate spinach, you dumb cunt. Whatever, chopped and grated spinach in the second one, that's what it's gonna be. Next one, salt and pepper. That's easy, I know what those are. Okay, we've got pepper and chicken salt. Oh, this isn't a lid. This is the cracking uh, mechanism. Those cunts in cafes that they always come up to you and they go, crack pepper, sir, and you never want it? Like, have you ever thought, gee, you know what would be really good with my meal? Dumb cunt going, no, no one wants that. And even, even if I do want pepper, no. Put it on the fucking table, don't do this. And if, if they think that there should be pepper on the meal, put it on the fucking meal and don't tell me about it. All right, so obviously we've uh, put a little bit too much pepper in there, so we're gonna have to balance it out with the chicken chippy salt. I think that looks about right. Now, a lot of people seem to think that you can buy breadcrumbs, but I, I, excuse me. I'm not an idiot, all right? Breadcrumbs come from bread. So all you gotta do is just fucking give me my crumbs, mate. All right, next up, cream cheese. Now, we've had a pretty good track record with cream cheese. I think I needed it in the first episode and I found it in the supermarket. However, my local supermarket is an IGA, which is basically a disabled supermarket. Luckily, the rule on this show is if the name sounds like an ingredients list, you can just make it. So, I'm gonna make some cream cheese with some cream and some cheese. It didn't have regular cream, I only had light sour cream. But I'm hoping that putting cheese into that will even it out and it'll come out like cream cheese, all right? To make cream cheese, method is pretty simple. A little bit of cheese, a little bit of light sour cream. Fuck, man. <laughs> there we go. Cream cheese, everyone. That's how you make it. You're welcome. Just need the last two sheets of pastry to put on top of our salmon wellington. Lay it down there, and I'm gonna make it nice and fancy by forking the shit out of it. My forking technique, really, it's not the best, but it's kind of getting the job done. It's kind of like for any of the lady viewers of this series, if it was like a life or death situation where you had to please a lesbian, you know, your scissoring technique, it wouldn't be the best, but it'd hopefully get the job done and you'd make it out alive. And that's really what I'm trying to do with my forking technique. All right, now it's time for the oven. What I'm thinking is 220 degrees for 30 minutes in the oven. And hopefully that's gonna come out and our puff pastry will be nice and golden brown. And the salmon in it isn't gonna give us salmonella. Now we just sit back, relax, and Google what to do if you've eaten poisoned fish. All right, it's time to get out of the oven and uh, we're giving it a bit of a waft. It doesn't, doesn't actually smell that bad. Dude, get MasterChef on the fucking phone. Maybe, maybe call MasterChef after I've figured out the oven. Look at this. And don't look at this one. <laughs> Why are they so different? They were in the oven for the same amount of time. Why are they completely different? That doesn't make any sense. I guess we're gonna have to flip a coin to see who gets which, who gets the shit one. I mean, it's definitely pastry, man. That's pretty good. All right. Well, Todd, why don't you take a seat? I'll plate it up and we can begin the taste test. Bon appetit, my friend. Oops. There we go. Wait, you got that one. Paper, scissors, rock. Okay, all right. Paper, scissors, rock. Hey! I get the one that looks good. This one, I don't know how it was cooked this well. I have no clues. I don't know why there's such a big difference between the two. The only difference between them is that this one has a shitload of sour cream, which you can see. That's just all sour cream. Yeah. The whole thing is just sour cream. I mean, it looks, you know what it looks like? I've turned the light sour cream into cheese uh, for it smells, you. It smells rank. <laughs> <laughs> Yours smells good. Yours smells really nice. good. That smells rank. <laughs> a knife and a fork for me. And uh, you, you're probably going to just need a spoon. So congratulations, Todd. You've been given a promotion from guy behind the camera to guy who has to eat my food. How does it feel? I have a level of safety standing behind the camera. Yeah. And now in front of it, in front of it, I'm just violated already. I even <laughs> started eating it. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Enjoy. Oh, this is so cool. 
Mine tastes like <laughs> sour <laughs> cream and mine doesn't have that much in it. I don't know what the fuck yours tastes like. Oh. I'll go in the middle. Yeah, let's have a. I haven't had. I haven't found any salmon yet. Oh, there's some. The salmon's pretty good because it was cooked by someone else. This one wasn't cooked, was it? The salmon? No, that one's not cooked. You can, you can taste it. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, have some of my salmon, it's fucking great. <laughs> I will. Just, like, just the salmon, don't touch anything else. Oh, fuck off, that's so much better. Right, that's we'll... so much better. Can we swap then? Yep. Why are they so different? That sucks. This is so good. <laughs> this one's amazing. Dude, I'd pay for this at a cafe. Fuck yes, I've done it. <laughs> I've made something that someone would eat and then somehow also the worst meal. That's the fucking sh that is the shittest thing. This sucked. If you served that to me and told me that was an abortion, I'd believe it. Head on down to the Lewis Spears Cafe where 50% of the meals come out alright and the other half come out like an abortion. <laughs> Yuck. Gross! This is good. I'm liking it. You can't do this anymore. Alright guys, that's the end of the episode. Thanks very much to Todd for joining me. Uh, how, how did you rate your first experience in front of the camera? Well, I only half hated it, so. Yeah, that's good. All right, we got a 50%, we got an average rating of kind of okay. Compared with the other two episodes though, we still got a very, very low average rating. All right, so thank you very much for watching. Let me know in the comments what I should cook next, and I'll see you next week. Also, support me on Patreon so I can pay Todd a little bit more for doing this shit, because he definitely doesn't get paid anywhere near enough that he should to eat this shit. Uh. <laughs> Still eating it, the video's over. Stop! <laughs> Make moves, got moves to make Pay dues till we break through truth and fake Gotta separate the two, some dudes are snakes Hard to tell who's your enemy and who's your mate